So for the past couple of months, uh, when I bring up the topic of vitamin D3, uh, we usually look at that in terms of uh, statin intolerance, that and uh, CoQ10 or ubiquinol. Patients have started asking which D, which vitamin D. Uh, first couple of times that brought uh, raised my eyebrows, but now I'm beginning to expect it. Uh, information's getting out there about vitamin D2. I'm not totally sure why, but um, thought I'd do a quick video on vitamin D2 versus vitamin D3. <clears throat> There's not a whole lot of information there, so this will be a short video. But first, a quick uh, introduction. Dr. Ford Brewer, uh, PrevMed, heart attack, stroke, cancer, disability prevention. We help our patients prevent all the uh, the big challenges that happen in midlife, um, and for some, a little bit earlier than midlife. <laughs> now, vitamin D2 versus vitamin D3. Now, I'm just going to do a quick one-slide uh, comparison on these. Vitamin D2, also called ergocalciferol. Vitamin D3, called colocalciferol. Um, this is uh, D2, ergocalciferol is produced by the skin, and so is vitamin D3. Um, here's where one of the biggest, maybe the biggest uh, difference comes up. Um, vitamin D2 or ergocalciferol is far less potent, uh, less than a third as potent as uh, vitamin D3. So. You wouldn't be surprised to hear that it's not often been used, and that's why so few people have heard of vitamin D2. Uh, usually, when you hear about vitamin D recommendations, people are talking about vitamin D3. Now, <clears throat> here's another key difference between D2 and D3. D2 is much more of a plant-based uh, source. So you see it with mushrooms, molds, lichens, uh, as they are, uh, they take UV light from the sun to create that. With, um, with the sources for vitamin D3 are more animal products like uh, egg yolks, uh, oily f uh, fish oil. Cod liver oil was the original classic source for vitamin D3. Uh, it was what they gave uh, kids maybe a century ago to prevent uh, rickets. Just as a quick reminder, vitamins D2 and D3 are um, part of uh, the uh, intestinal and GI absorption of uh, calcium. Also uh, involved with getting calcium deposited in the bones. And a huge component of vitamin D uh, metabolism has to do with the kidneys. So um, <clears throat> there's a much bigger picture there. I just wanted to do a quick uh, video to get that information out about vitamin D2. Now, uh, there are some folks, most folks are okay taking uh, at least the animal products associated with vitamin D3. Some are not. I did a quick look um, and found there's at least one group which uh, provides uh, plant-sourced vitamin D3. Uh, it's uh, Suntrex D3, S-U-N-T-R-E-X D3. This is not an endorsement of it. I'm not that familiar with it. I've always used the other, the other brands of vitamin D3. Thank you very much.